When your body changes this angle and you come to this pitch, lean over to this pitch. That, how hard is that going to be hit versus if you flex your legs and now you hit it? For 13 years, Nino Gerotano has been both teaching Good reads. and coaching the USF Don's baseball team, and he's been wildly successful. This past spring, Gerotano led the Dons to just the second ever NCAA tournament berth in school history. And he did it all while harboring an enormous secret. At season's end, he'd be heading to Denver to donate a kidney to his ailing 80-year-old father. Last fall, my dad went in for gallbladder surgery, which was in the end of August, first part of September, and ended up staying in the hospital for 45 days. And my doctor said, Mickey, your, your kidneys have shut down, and we have no answer why they shut down. I says, what will happen if I don't want dialysis no more? He says, you have an option two ways. Either you go and try to get a transplant, or you die. That's kind of when I first started thinking about doing it. I couldn't really get out there to help. My, my brothers and sisters had to take care of him. So I thought the only way I could probably partake in helping him is if he needed a transplant, I'd be the person to do it. He called me and he said, Mom, I've decided I want to give Dad a kidney. I said, oh, Nino, are you sure? And I cried and he said, Mom, you know what, I've thought about this a lot. He said, but I don't want anybody to know. I'm telling you, and when the time is right, I'll tell Dad. A decision for which Nino did not seek input, not even from his own wife. I didn't want anybody to worry. I didn't want anybody to feel guilty if they said no. I didn't want anybody to have to carry the burden if they said yes and something went wrong. Nino finally broke the news to his father over a Christmas visit to Colorado. He said, all these years, uh, you and mom have given me everything. The least I could do is, is give you a kidney. So I accepted it. After medical tests confirmed Nino as a good match for Mickey, the wheels were set in motion. But there was one not so minor obstacle standing in the way. That's fine. Stay behind the ball. USF's 2011 baseball season was just about to get started. The surgery would have to wait until after the season, and it was a long wait. USF wins the game! The Dons are the West Coast Conference champions! The Dons' second ever WCC title extended the regular season into the postseason and earned Nino the conference's Coach of the Year honors. An amazing accomplishment, considering the emotional baggage he was secretly carrying. He never talked about it, so we didn't know the whole year that he was going to be giving a, a kidney to his dad, which is, which is crazy. He was trying to make sure we got the best out of our season, and he was secondary. Uh, same thing with his father. He was putting him first and, and him second, and that's, that's, again, the kind of guy he is. But the surgery was never far from Nino's mind. He said, Dad, uh, I looked up at you in the stands when we were playing UCLA, and it, it looked like we were going to win. And he says, I said to myself, I bet you my dad uh, is thinking maybe he should lose and I could get my kidney faster. But uh, I did not think that I wanted him to win all the while. I know he wanted us to win, but I think he was a little relieved that the season ended June 15th and it didn't carry on until July because I think he was just ready to, to, to be healthy. So with the baseball equipment finally about to be put away for the season, it was time to reveal the secret plan that had been in the works for nearly eight months, beginning with Nino's wife. I was shocked. And then after this shock value, I was actually happy for him and his dad. But in respect to that, I was also scared for our family. You know, anytime you go into surgery, you just, you never know what's gonna happen. So I was, had a, just a lot of emotions. I said, you know, this is going to be fun, and she was angry with me. She said, you know, this is not a birthday party. This is not, this is not a dinner meeting. This is not going to be fun. And I said, no, I think it is. I think it's going to be fun for my dad to get back most of his life, and it's going to be fun for me to finally give something um, and, and see where it takes us. Nino held strong to that mind frame through virtually the entire process. I don't think that, that I really embraced being afraid or, or, or 
being scared of any of it until probably about five minutes before I went into the operating room. And at that point it was really scary for us, for him to, you know, he, he got a little tear in his eyes and said, see you when I wake up, and that brought a lot of tears to our eyes. Surgery lasted four or five and a half hours when he was done. We actually saw him on his way up to recovery and he started crying again and said, I'm alive, and that's when it really hit what the surgery could have been. The hardest part of all of this was when I saw Nino come out. He was sick, and that was hard for me to see him. I went in for just a few minutes. I couldn't even stay in that room very long. When I first opened my eyes, I said, I'm alive, and, and the nurse said, yeah, you're a little sleepy, but you're here. The second thing I said, she said, Any, anywhere you want to go, I said, if you could give me to Yankee Stadium from this bed right here, I'd sure be happy. Uh, and then I think the last part was I just said, hey, I want to see my dad. And I, I fought for the next two hours to walk and be healthy enough to go to his room and see him in the recovery part of it. First thing he said was, was it pretty tough, Dad? <laughs> I said, if it was tough, it was tough for you. He says, he says, I think we're going to be okay. I just cried. There was, there's no words to describe that. You can't like say thank you and that's not enough because it's a huge thing. So everyone to know that he was that type of person, it was a, it was a big deal. I can't describe what I felt. Two plus months removed from the surgery, both Nino and Mickey are doing great. Nino is back to work while Mickey is getting on with his life. He can walk, he can look forward to playing golf eating hot dogs like he wants to, his diet is not restricted anymore. You know, that's the best thing for me is just to say, you know, this is how I want to see my father live those golden years of his life. But Mickey says his daily routine will also include something else. Every day, I will pray for Nino. And true to form, Nino isn't all that comfortable with all the praise his act of giving has brought his way. I don't feel any different. I don't feel superhuman like sometimes people look at me. I just feel the same. Uh, I think it was something I was faced with and, and hopefully somewhere down the road if this makes the world a better place, then, then good for it.